what's cooking guys do you have really overexposed video that looks like this but you want to fix it and make it look like this well that's what we're going to talk about in this video let's do it all right guys so overexposure is always getting in the way if you're inside it's always blowing out the windows if you're outside it's always shining off everything everything's always just so white and blown out but there's a couple things you can do in Premiere Pro that'll actually fix your overexposure. So let's get into it. So here I have my clip, look at the windows. It's just, the sun's beating in, it's blowing out everything and it's just so hard to concentrate on what's going on because everything's so blown out. And it's tough because it's windows, wide open windows, no curtains, nothing at all. There's just nothing to diffuse the sun. There was only so much I could do on my camera where I had a happy medium of brightness here and brightness inside. If I lowered the exposure too much right here, then it made it way too dark in here. So this is the best I could do. So of course I have to fix it in post. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we're on our color workspace. And that is by going up to your workspaces, making sure it's just selected on color. This is just easier because you have more space for your color effects. I have my colors on my sides here. And then we're gonna go over to our Lumentary scopes over here. And here are my two scopes that I'm using. These are my favorite scopes because they give me the most amount of information. So to get these two, you go down to the settings wrench, you click it, and here's your vector scope YUV, which is this circle right here. And then your waveform RGB, which is this one over here. So these just tell me so much information because look at this white line up here. This just shows you your brightness and your highlights up here and then your darkness and shadows down here. So as you can see, I have a very strong line up here, meaning it's super bright. And for my vector scope, I don't really use this too much for overexposure, but it does help just to see what colors are really, uh, really bright. I don't want it to go outside of this inner line. This is just helping me see what other colors are being affected by this brightness. So this red is going a little far, but you'll notice when I actually start adjusting some settings that this will go in. So the first setting I'm really going to just mess with is the whites and the highlights. And while I am lowering these whites, you'll see the whites on my histogram go down. I don't wanna pull it really far down because then I'm losing a lot of my shadows and then it's kind of just really dark and all my blacks are really black. So I wanna just lower enough so it's underneath that kind of 255 line, just about. So I'm getting to like negative 50, negative 40 is a good amount. But I think that's about good, maybe not that much, probably like here. And the next thing I'm gonna mess with is just the highlights. This is just another kind of fine tuning for those brightnesses. The whites really pulled it off the line, but the highlights kind of just stretch out the whites a little bit more so it's not as bright. I like to bring this almost to the same amount as the whites if it's really overexposed like it is now. And like I said, in some cases, you're going to be taking away a lot of the blacks. And you can see the blacks down here, it's almost peaking past the zero. So you can just adjust the blacks, but maybe by a very little bit, you don't want to touch it that much. And then I like to just move in my shadows up a little bit. And just like in the whites and the highlights, blacks pulls it off the line so it's not peaking. And then the shadows kind of just stretches it out a little bit. I don't need to touch it too much just to make sure those shadows aren't too dark. So now I'm going to go into my effects controls and I'm going to toggle off my Lumetri scopes to see what it looked like before. So this is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like now. So definitely a lot better. But unfortunately, it seems like I kind of took out some of the color from the faces and added a little bit of a gray. So we can easily fix that. I'm going to go in to my contrast. I'm going to touch my contrast just a little bit. Just put it up maybe to 20, just mess around with it. You don't want to pull it too much because then you're just turning everything super dark. So just do a little bit, mess with it a little bit. And if that's not really getting what you want, you can always just go into the creative tab and add a little bit of saturation. Just kind of add some of that color back, but again, not too much, of course, because then you're going to really oversaturate it. So you don't really need that. So add a little bit, go back to my effects controls. I'll toggle it off. See, now I kept my color of the faces but the brightness is not there anymore. Or it's a lot dimmer than it was. And you can actually see the window and kind of what's in the background now. Before, you couldn't. So this is definitely working for me right now. I'm gonna do one last thing and it's going into curves. This line is just basically another line to adjust your highlights and your whites and then your blacks and shadows. So what I like to do is I like to create two points. One on this side between these two boxes and then another dot between these two boxes right here. And that's just by simply clicking on the line and then the 
dots appear and if you accidentally put a point where you don't want it you can always hold command and get rid of them and then add a new one and then what i like to do here is i like to kind of just pull down on my highlights a little bit this kind of just again just pulls away from some of that uh really bright spots up here but again you don't want to pull too much because then you're really sucking the color out and it's getting gray so I like to just mess with it just a little bit and then to overcompensate for some of that grayness and I actually took out some of the blacks too and you can see that by if you go over to this check mark you can uncheck it and this is what it looked like before you affected this line and then after and like you see you can see that I definitely took away some of the that those shadows and some of the color so I can kind of bring that back by pulling this shadow down a little bit just a little bit I don't want to make it too dark but I do want to just adjust it enough where I kind of add some of that color back I can check again and I actually like that a lot better now and I can of course just keep fine-tuning that as much as I want and same with any of the other sliders but that's basically what I'm looking for and I'm gonna check one more time from the beginning for Lumetri scopes and toggle this off this is what it looked like before super blown out and this is what it looks like now this is perfect I kept the color inside and just really removed some of those really bright spots like that where you couldn't see anything before out the window and now you kind of can and you kind of actually added more color I feel like and it just looks so much better so much better and then I'm just gonna take one last double check on my Lumetri scopes to make sure that I am under my 255 100 line right here for my whites and my highlights and then make sure I'm just over the zero line for my blacks and shadows and then the vector scope over here was just to back up like I said I didn't really use this that much it's literally just there to make sure that when I'm adjusting my sliders that I'm not adding or subtracting too much color and making it go too far in or too far over this line but like I said didn't change that much it's just a helpful backup but I do use this scope a lot for other color correction aspects which I can show in another video if you're interested just let me know in the comments all right guys that's all I got for you for this one I hope it helps I hope it fixes your overexposed video just like it helped fix mine if you like the video make sure you like subscribe and ring that bell so you can be kept up with all my other tutorial videos other than that I'll see you in the next one guys peace